Is there any other life skills that you have learned in school? Um, in our year group, we've been introduced to something called oracy, where we as young students are allowed to speak up to what we believe in. For example, national disastrous things that have happened in the world, like poverty, we learn about it, and as a class, we debate, so there's always a side that's for and against. Us debating allows us to plan and be able to have our research to know what we're talking about and that can help us in the future when we want to achieve something and in order for us to do that we have to plan. So what do you think about the project? I, I think that the project is really good uh, because it helps us to improve our confidence, our speaking confidence and it really helped me because how can we are taxing so people don't really understand me even though I speak English um, they sometimes won't understand me, so the project helped me to uh, realize that there are people who um, would be nice and who try to help me with other things. So, yeah. That's nice, especially with accents, because for me, I grew up speaking French, mm -hmm. so my grandma was a bit different in terms of speaking English and French, so I grew up as a weird person as well. However, the accent makes you who you mm -hmm. are, and in terms of it actually inspires people who speak English mm -hmm. as well because they want to learn other languages and makes them want to make them feel more confident in terms of learning other cultures and everything yeah. so that's nice what about you what is the project um okay. I like the project because it opens like a bigger perspective of two different opinions so you're arguing about one topic, one person says this thing, one person says another thing. Mm -hmm. It's good because it helps you see both sides of the story and what both people think. Because what I've seen a lot is that only one side of the story is being pushed, but not the other. So people only believe that side because that's the only side they've seen. Mm -hmm. With the argument, um, you can see both sides and you can decide for yourself what you want to believe. Nice explain. Oh, I don't know to what Prosper said. I feel like the oracy helps you think about like what people, other people also feel about the current situation of the world. So that maybe everyone else will come together to make a grand conclusion or this should not have happened or this should have happened. Because not everybody always has the same mm -hmm. opinion and not everybody yeah, always yeah. think the same way as you do. So yeah. other people might, for example, like racism, you can't really tell all these racist people to just stop being racist. You can't really tell them to like, put to the or they're racist or go to prison because they can still be racist while in prison mm -hmm. because you, it's just yeah. their mindset mindset but like you could also still make maybe change the opinion about racism i mean maybe they can change their, their mindset into a positive one so how does all these skills that you have developed within this project how will it help you in the future uh, let's say you become like a business person and you're working on a project and let's say one person has an idea and then another person has an idea like mm -hmm. you could both maybe like have an, a debate or something like that to see which idea comes up best and it's probably going to be more useful to the people who are buying that certain product that you're trying to sell right okay so what does it look like when you don't prioritize messy it's a mess it's just laying down on the floor or like let's say you have a test or something if you're not prepared you could just end up either cheating or mm -hmm. you know doing something else yeah. that you're not supposed to do and then eventually you might either get you wrong or you might get caught cheating and then so your parents get caught and there's a whole different case but then you have another mess to deal with and it just keeps piling up mm. eventually where you just stress you out just a whole lot of stress <laughs> for no reason. I mean, you could have, yeah, just mm -hmm. organizing just makes everything easier, I guess. When you don't organize, you don't have anything in order. And when you don't have anything in order, you don't know what way to go, and and, and everything just ends up going left. It slows you down, you don't reach your full potential. Exactly. Okay, so what is it like when you do prioritize? Success. Um, everything becomes easier. You achieve your goals, yeah. Okay, so. I know some people who are not really organised, mm. but they're still prioritised in terms of things in the future. So, in your own personal way, like, how do you prioritise yourself to make sure that you do the things that you have to do in order to reach to your goal? I um, look at what affects me the most in the future. What affects me um, in the future is more important than what is going to make me happy now. Uh, for example, a test. A test is coming up, you need to revise. Um, 
I would be happy to go on my phone and play some games, but you can't do that. Because if you, if you don't study for the test, you're going to fail the exam and who knows what that could bring. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 I think if, if, if it affects you um, long term, it's more important than something which affects you short term. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> okay, in terms of like outside of school, was there a time that you had to like, um, how to say this, to give up on certain activities in order to help you in the long run? Uh, I feel like in quarantine, there's a lot of stuff that everyone would have like done like leisure centers, but because of that, we had to do like Zoom lessons, Google um, class and online lessons. Yeah. A lot of us might have been tempted to watch Netflix, go on our phone, but we know that because our education is important for us, we know it's like do all the lessons, complete our homework. So when we do get back to school, we don't need to catch up. Like there's not a big gap between our learning and what we have um, learned. Mm. So uh, advice I would give for the younger year groups, like year seven, is the you, you should work hard enough so you get the basic stuff for maths or any other um, subject and after you get those basics then start building up so you get the more harder stuff so that makes it easier. Um, if we didn't prioritize our time at a young age, the stuff that we find, like let's for example like Adam to what Nicola said, if we don't understand the easy stuff now, how are we supposed to understand the harder stuff? Like in math star stages, if you're to do algebra, the basics algebra, if you don't understand that and then you do the complex algebra, it's going to be harder for you and you'll be able to understand what's been given to you at the GCSEs. So that's why kids in year 7, year 8, you need to prioritise, you need to understand your work, you need to make sure that you understand the easy stuff before you jump ahead and do the harder tasks. Is it just revising everything like yeah. at school? But you also need to go. Like for me, I have, um, my dad is a he was a math teacher when I was back in Nigeria, so he knows a lot of things, and he teaches me stuff that you wouldn't learn in school until you're in older years. So that's why I'm that's why I'm always ahead in maths, and I already know stuff that you're not really supposed to know at a young age. So, but, so but if you don't have someone that is good at maths or a certain subject, then like you should just go to certain websites or just go practice more than what you learn in school because just learning, getting stuff that you learn in school just wouldn't help you in your future because there really is no point just for you to learn one basic thing because in test, as my teacher told, my teacher told me that 50% of what is in the test you, you don't learn because they have to follow certain curriculum that helps you with basic stuff and you the over 50% you should know either beforehand or you should learn during a certain point in your, in your life. I just want to say, um, a lot of people, like in year seven, year eight, they feel like it's the time to um, mess around because they don't have anything big coming up, like GCSEs and stuff. But really, like, um, pay attention, for real. Because if you don't, then it's literally it's gonna bag you back. Because I will tell you right now, I I thought that um, year seven and year eight was my time to mess around. Even though I did behave in classes, but I wouldn't pay as much as as much attention and now um, now in classes when teachers ask you something and you don't know the answer I start I start to feel embarrassed because why did I not pay attention back then and now I'm embarrassing myself and I don't know the answer it's kind of just um, kind of degrading I guess because I put this on myself if I don't pay attention now then what's gonna happen later we don't know so I guess doing something good now will just give you a better outcome instead of doing something negative. Ooh, there's a quote that says, um, works without faith is dead. Yeah. Like you don't believe in what you're doing. Like basically, it, yeah. it doesn't have to be religious, it can be right here. If you don't have the motivation and the faith to be like, oh yeah, I can do this, I can revise for this. Oh. And you know, you're doing the revision, that's when you know the outcome is going to be good. But if you're doing the revision without any type of motivation, motivation. you're just yeah. going to feel like put off. Yeah. And then when you do the test, you'll just be like, oh, I don't know if I can do this, I don't yeah. know if I can answer it's that kind of thing. If you don't believe you can do it, then you can never do it. Yeah. Well, it's actually turned to action. Trust me, I know. I've said it before. Procrastination. Yeah, procrastination and my big mouth. It's <laughs> not a good combination. 
Trust me, it will put you in a really bad place. What you just what you think careful. affects the way you act and affects the way people see you. Yeah. yeah. Mindset, yeah. Your growth mindset and fixed mindset. If you believe that you can achieve something, then you'll achieve. But if you believe that you're not gonna go anywhere in life, then you're probably gonna stay the same. So yeah. yeah. Believe in yourself. <laughs> what they say yes. um, right, okay, so this ends our podcast. Thank you for listening, and these were wonderful ideas, wonderful speaking. Thank you for you guys for being here, and uh, thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the Bible, it also teaches us to number our days so that we may have a heart wisdom, which means that whatever we do now will affect what we do in the future.